Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today's pick a card reading is about their thoughts of you today. So let's see what is your person thinking about you. There are two piles for you to choose from. This is pile number one with the amethyst crystal. And pile number two with the clear quartz crystal. And just choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to. And after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm going to use for today's reading, you'll find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And with that being said, I'll see you on your reading. Hello my beautiful pal number one, welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the Amethyst Crystal. So let's take a look at what are their thoughts of you today. And we're going to start with these messages oracle deck. And let's see what does your person want to tell you, what do they think about you. Okay, what do they think about your pal number one. What are their thoughts of you today. Okay, I was also feeling this one. So let's see what we have. I long for your kiss. Your person is missing you and would really, really love to be able to kiss you, to express their feelings in a physical way. I was hurt by you. So your person is thinking that you did hurt them in some way. Maybe by saying some words or through some uh, like certain actions. I can't promise you anything. Your person uh, is also thinking that they are not able to like be sure about anything right now. Like they cannot commit or they cannot promise you anything. It's like it's not set in stone yet. Nothing is set in stone. We have you were right. Okay, so they acknowledge that you were right about something. I am better with my mind than my heart. Okay, they're also thinking that they're not the best at expressing their feelings, at talking about their emotions. They're more of a logical, rational person. No one understands me but you. At the same time, they do believe that you're the one that the, the one that's understanding them the most, that's um, easier for you to understand than others. I can't do this right now. So I can't promise you anything. I can't do this right now. It looks like they're hurt and they are not able to maybe promise you too much right now or commit to you or show you, you know, uh, signs of affection. But they do long for your kiss. I'm obsessed with you. They're, they are very attracted to you and they're thinking how much they they are drawn to you. But at the same time, they're like, I can't do this right now. Please do what is best for your heart. So they're like, I can't promise you anything. Maybe they're like thinking that they cannot offer you that um, stable, secure relationship right now. They cannot commit. They cannot do the relationship thing right now. So they're saying like, please do what is best for your heart. They, they generally like don't expect you to you know wait for them or to, you know, do whatever makes them feel best like they are like you should do what's best for you you should follow what's best for you but right now i cannot promise you anything okay right now let's take a look at your tarot cards pile number one and see more about our thoughts of you today okay seven of swords first card was seven of wands okay two seven okay Two of Swords. Okay. Let's see. Tower. The Tower. Justice. Okay. And Page of Cups. Right. I'm just going to push the cards a little bit. So, pile number one, I do feel that there is a blockage that this person is feeling in this connection. A blockage, perhaps, in opening up their heart. See, the heart is being guarded. They are better with their mind than their heart. And I feel like this hurt is being portrayed in the Seven of Swords. 
Okay, the card is keep, keeps like slipping. So yeah, with the seven of swords, I do see that your person is being really hurt by uh, something you did maybe behind their back. Maybe like you lied to them or they perceive it like you lied to them. They perceive that you were uh, hiding something behind their back and you weren't entirely honest or you uh, betrayed their trust. And this is what hurt them here, okay? As I can see with the seven of swords. Uh... And therefore really push them into their into their case and like they don't want to um, or find it really hard to open up to get out and to communicate it to express feelings or to even like promise you anything like they don't know exactly what they want right now they're confused they're blocked they are not able to see a solution to the issue right now or a way on moving past this hurt uh this pain that's been created this situation okay that's very challenging as i can see with the seven of wands this shows like a lot of challenging feelings and energies of like fighting right something off like challenges and obstacles are coming across their path and they are just trying to fight those and i feel like what this challenge is uh was exactly this uh, hurtful thing that happened to them from your part okay that by the way came as a shock with the tower like the tower suggests a shock um a situation that happens when you least expect it and it just uh disrupts all your comfort it feels like the rug has been pulled under your feet like you get this feeling like everything is crumbling down they, they think that your relationship has crumbled down and there is no um strong foundation okay that it wasn't built on a strong foundation uh sorry foundation to begin with and yeah like the crown is falling and it's been hit by a thunderstorm and this is exactly how they feel about your relationship like it's sinking in the ocean okay um so everything came as a shock they feel very overwhelmed they feel really blocked and unable to see how you could get through this uh with the justice they feel like you did something unfair to them. I was hurt by you. The Seven of Swords. Pain, okay? Disappointment. Uh, losing trust or trust being broken. And here, they want to see balance of being restored from your part. They want to be treated. They, they search for justice. They search for being treated the way that they feel like they deserve to not settle down for less. With the sword, they believe in cutting off what's no longer serving them. And I see that they're pretty confident into searching for what's best for them. They're like, please do what's best for your heart, but I cannot promise you anything. Um, and it says like, I can't do this right now. They say also you were right, perhaps regarding yeah, a situation in here. Um, but yeah, I definitely can see that they're looking for justice, okay? And with the Page of Cups, I can see that uh, they think, you know, about starting a fresh chapter, a fresh journey here, where they don't want to put so much into, right? Like, they don't want to invest so much. They just want to have fun. They just want to enjoy. They just want to um, flirt and play and have fun. And yeah, just enjoy, you know, that that type of energy with you without getting too uh too deep into it without uh committing too much because we have here i can't promise you anything i can't do this right now but they do long for your keys they are obsessed with you the feelings are still there the attraction is there is there but they don't want to over you know just to uh, um over commit or become too wrapped up in the connection Let's see what else is coming through into your oracles about their thoughts of you today. So we have, you deserve love. You are lovable and unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So they think that there's not enough attraction to keep going. As I said, they don't see a solution. They don't see a way out. They believe that they've put so much and now they feel with this hurt, with this lack of trust, this disappointment, there is just not enough attraction or chemistry to keep it going. But for some, it might resonate that way and they believe that you are not attracted to them as much and it, sh it shouldn't work this way. Um, we have you deserve love. So yeah, they believe that 
they deserve love you know that they deserve what's best with the justice and they don't want to settle as i said for less okay they search for that balance that means like as much as they give to to receive as well let's see what else is coming through cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation so they're hesitating to date to open their heart they're guarded but they're trying to have faith you know here with the page of cups as i said they want to just enjoy to have fun to flirt to date uh and they believe that you don't know from which part love could be coming and there always could be a surprise or you know uh a meeting okay let's see what else is coming through and we have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun it's just exactly what i said with the page of cups it's so interesting it's just matching the energies 100 percent so your person pal number one just wants to have fun just wants to enjoy to not like commit too much to not be too caught up you know in a connection too seriously they just want to spend as much time with friends as possible they're trying to move on to be happily single they're learning to be happily single to live in the moment to enjoy the journey as i said okay so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number one i hope you found value and answers into your reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this in the future also for those of you interested in booking a private reading with me the link is down below for you to check it out thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hello my beautiful pal number two welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the clear quartz crystal so let's take a look at what are their thoughts of you today and we're going to start with the channel messages oracle deck that you were drawn to let's see what are their thoughts okay of you today what do they want to tell you okay let's see so we have i'm afraid of hurting you so they are scared of doing something or saying something that's gonna hurt you they don't want to hurt you that's the last thing that they want i was selfish and immature please forgive me so they hurt you once i, I can see they believe that they've hurt you once that they were selfish and immature and they are regretting that and they feel a lot of guilt and they hope for your forgiveness and that's why they don't want to hurt you uh, they're scared of hurting you again but at the same time they do say like i'm not the same person so like they've worked on themselves they're a better version right now they're better can treat you better we also have i think you're better off without me so i feel like your person is at the same time like thinking that they're uh, better but still have like some sort of uh, lack of confidence in themselves that they've hurt you before and they're scared to do it because this is the last thing that they want they do care about not hurting you and sometimes like their most deepest thoughts uh come through and and it says like i think that pal number two is better off without me that is like um maybe they can do so much better right because there's not that chance of hurting them we have i know i hurt you i don't want to hurt you again it's just clarified it's just confirmed once again it's crazy you know uh how it just resonates the same way but yeah the message says once again that they know that they hurt you they are aware of it and they don't want to hurt you again so as i said it's very very strong energies about that and strong intention that they don't want to hurt you and uh, regret i sense a lot of regret as well i hide my true desires for you because they don't want to hurt you that's why because they don't want to you know um go on with this connection pursue you again or you know do more of like trying to show their feelings and everything but then end up hurting you so they believe that right now the best thing to do is to hide their true desires for you i never expected to fall in love with you so quickly so that's why they even hurt you because they didn't believe to fall that is able to fall in love with you so fast 
I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? So they know again that they were wrong. So they, number two, your person is definitely like regretting something that they did to you. A way that they treated you, a way that they acted, you know, by not talking to you, by being selfish, immature. Um, they wish you f to forgive them. They hope that you could forgive them to see that they're not the same person and that, you know, they hope that you would be open to talk now. I'm always here for you. So no matter what, they're going to be there. They're going to be here for you to support you in any way. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. So they acknowledge the fact that you were there for them always and they want to take care of you. They want to be that person that you can count on. Okay. Now, let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what else is coming through about their thoughts of you today. Okay, let's see. So we have the moon, we have the eight of swords. We have the Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Cups. Okay, so Pal 2, your person, I see a lot of swords energies in here. So definitely have to do with me uh, mental clarity, uh, with words, with communication. So they've been the one that was selfishly mature, hiding and not talking to you or hiding some in some way and being too mysterious too hidden and, and secretive towards you and maybe brought up you a lot of hurt a lot of anxiety a lot of overthinking and they are aware of that okay or this could also be them hiding their true desires for you and that brings a lot of anxiety because all they want as i can see in your cards in your tarot cards all they wish for is to come towards you and express their feelings show shower you with their affection and their love in the knight of cups okay so this could be them hiding their true desires i feel like this is going to resonate with the majority of you in pile number two this is them hiding their true desires for you keeping it hidden with the eight of swords feeling blocked feeling uh like there is no empty path toward you because they they need your forgiveness first okay they've hurt you and they feel really really stuck this is about feeling like you're uh, in stagnation or blocked and uh that blockage is um really hard to overcome and the eight of swords also speaks about having like a blindfold and not being able to see how things could improve okay that's why sometimes they're like i think you're better off without me but what they really really wish with the five of swords is um to end uh, end up to an agreement to make up these five of swords is about ending a conflict ending a misunderstanding clearing things up talking things through so this is what they think of you today this is what they want to talk and communicate in a very direct manner the knight of swords also speaks about a person that's coming towards you in this case your person pal number two that wants to communicate things in a very clear and effective way they want to kind of end up with this secrecy with these hidden things and like uh take the veil off and talk things in a very straightforward manner and also this is about taking action so they are thinking about coming towards you with a, a desire to communicate to talk things through to apology and also the five of swords can be about a compromise so they are willing to come towards you maybe compromising on being right or being the person that you know on their uh, ego and wanting to uh, acknowledge the fact that they were selfish and immature and ask for your forgiveness this is coming towards you with an offer also the knight of cups is an offer of love an abundant overflowing love look at the cup overflowing with water that means lots of emotion lots of of love involved into this connection from their part so they're gonna come towards you pal number two this is what they're thinking about to come towards you and talk things through to express and open up and be vulnerable without hiding in a direct manner to open their heart this is about that as well so i can see what's uh, in their mind this way now let's take a look at your oracles 
and see what we have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world so they would like to talk to you but in private they would like to talk to you in a way that nobody's going to get involved you, you know you can get to spend quality time you can get to talk effectively uh, and, and reach an agreement or end up with the misunderstandings sorry end with the misunderstandings uh, and they would really love to disconnect from the world and just be the two of you talking, okay? So we have another three cards falling and we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So they believe that whatever time uh, there is waiting and it's required to wait for you, for your forgiveness, it's worth it. They believe that it's divine timing, you know, at work in this journey, in this connection and things uh, are moving at a pace that's part of divine plan and we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so you are that new person okay uh i feel like where was it i uh, hear i never expected to fall in love so quickly with you so quickly so you are that new person that stirred their romantic feelings that they didn't expect to fall in love with so quickly okay and now they regret you know not expressing and not opening up and be honest about their uh, feelings like so fast or acting in a way um maybe they were scared to open up so quickly okay due to past experiences or maybe this is the person that finds it hard to open up and now they really believe that that would make such a difference and we have romantic feelings again so confirmed that you, you their feelings are real and worth exploring so they think very very honestly that these feelings are genuine as i said with the knight of cups their feelings are real and genuine and worth exploring and they, all they want to do as i said is to uh, act on these feelings to get to experience these feelings to enjoy them to enjoy your company to shower you with love and affection okay now let's take a look at some other oracle cards and see what we have so healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier and coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted friendship so your person whoops wants to ask you out on a you know on a date or talking over a coffee cup over a drink to meet and converse talk as i said as i saw in your reading talk things through but they want to savor this love to experience this love and to enjoy it okay they they want to no longer feel regretful but to feel uplifted to get your friendship at least because they truly like who you are as a person and they want to make healthier choices in life but also in love and in this connection eventually uh they're they're ready to you know like do better choices than this in they even say like they even think that i'm not the same person okay i'm i, I practice self-love self-care i'm happier and i can share this from a whole you know i can sh I, I can feel your cup right from a whole um place of love a whole heart that's filled with love rather than a, a heart that's scared to open up a heart that's scared to love right like in the beginning like now they've realized and the amount of love that they have for you and look at the cup is overflowing and this is them like wanting to fill that cup uh you know of disconnection and of love we have here cup as well uh and it comes from a whole person that's loving and caring towards themselves as well okay so this is everything that i have for you my lovely pal number two i really hope you enjoyed today's reading if you did don't forget to hit like and also subscribe to the channel for more readings like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye